up you guys welcome back to my channel I'm not gonna do the rest of my intro just gonna go straight into this today we are going to be talking about a weird little thing like we tend to do on my channel we talk about weird little things all the time this is called the wand and we'll show kind of how loosely interpreted the word wand is in this case in a moment but for the purposes of this video this will be referred to henceforth as the wand and it is a sulfite remover for those of us who are sensitive to sulfites in our wines. I took a test a little while back, a blood test to see what my food sensitivities were. One of them was SMB sulfite, which is found mostly in wine. They use it not only in the production of wine, it's sort of naturally occurring, but I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's also added for preservative purposes for storing wine or shipping wine. It's sort of a byproduct of the process. And so when you drink wine, a lot of times, not only are you sensitive to the sulfites that are in it, but also, I just learned this, there are histamines in wine. And histamine is like the thing that they use as a control if you ever do an allergy test because everyone's allergic to it. It's, I think, what is in mosquito bites or ant bites, I can't remember, but basically, Everybody across the board is like low key allergic to histamine. And so that's why when you drink wine, you'll get a little bit of like, just a little bit of congestion. And it's just sort of a mild congestant because it's got a little bit of a histamine in it. I don't know why, I'm not a scientist. So all that said, my life is not without opportunities to drink wine. <laughs> I really like wine, but wine I've always said just doesn't like me. And as I've gotten older, I've always thought that it was because I was getting older. You know, I just can't, drink like I used to and you know anybody who's over 25 knows that you hit 25 I would say that's about the punctuation for everybody it's sort of an agreed upon landmark it's like you're 25 the hangovers get really brutal like you just can't go out and like lose track of how many drinks you drink because you're gonna have like a hangover that lasts like two maybe three days no one wants that that's not fun so here I was thinking that like wine was the enemy. I'm like, okay, well, I don't really know what's wrong, but I can't drink it and it sucks. And I get this horrible like frontal lobe headache. I of course get the congestion and I just feel generally horrible when I drink it, like actually while I'm drinking it, like I start to lose clarity. I just like everything in my head starts to feel really tight and stuffed up and awful. And then I would wake up in the morning and be like, oh yeah, cool, awesome. I have a hangover from one glass of wine. Like hashtag not worth it. When I found out that it is actually the sulfites apparently that I am sensitive to, I mean, I'm not sure that that test really would test for alcohol, but alcohol didn't seem to bother me in other things, at least not in, you know, reasonable amounts. And so I just thought that wine was the enemy. So I started to look into these ways of removing the sulfite from the wine because A, I do like wine. I want to keep drinking wine if possible. And having isolated what the issue was, I was like, okay, well maybe that means that it's solvable. But also, I just like testing stuff for you guys, and I thought that this might be valuable for you guys because I really, I can't imagine I'm the only person who is sensitive to the sulfites and possibly the histamines in wine. I have seen a couple things online. There's like these ones that you pour the wine through and they're like $200 or something. I don't know, I could be totally talking on my butt. They might be like 80, but still, just like a big risk to take for somebody who doesn't really drink that much wine to begin with. Then your yeah, girl got on Amazon because your girl loves to get on Amazon. And I looked up like, you know, sulfite remover and I came across this guy. This is the weirdest little thing. And of course it's, you know, heavily researched and whatnot, but it is not the most elegant device in the world. It could be described as a tea bag. Like that's how it seems is, is kind of like a tea bag. It kind of looks like a glass of wine. That's probably what they meant to be. Yeah, probably probably the design. So yeah, there's some kind of technology in these little crystals that's going to soak up the sulfites and the histamines out of your wine. Uh, the steps, it says simple to use, swirl, place the wand in a six ounce glass of wine, swirl and soak at least three minutes and then savor, enjoy your wine. The wand is groundbreaking, the only wine filter to remove both histamines and sulfites, portable and disposable, fits in the purse or pocket, nothing to carry or clean, Simple and effective, starts to work instantly after three minutes, over 50% removed, swirl and soak eight minutes for maximum effect. Individual results may vary. Do not reuse. Did I try it? Yes, I did. Does it work? Yes, it does. It is so cool. So you take this guy and you swish it around in your glass, which I admit is a little bit daunting if I think about going out to a restaurant, ordering a glass of wine, and then pulling out my little tea bag and dropping it in their really nice glass of wine that they just served me. But you know what? 
to some extent, you just have to go with survival. Like there's, there's embarrassment in being weird and bringing your own weird accessory to go with your wine. And then there's the thought of not being able to drink wine or drinking the wine and suffering horrible consequences. And suddenly this weird little tea bag becomes a little more appealing. And so I could definitely see a wine tasting would be difficult because you tend to be doing this all the time. You know what I mean? It doesn't like solve all your problems, but I did think about maybe taking two, decanting a bottle of wine, dropping two of these bad boys in there, leaving it in there for like 10 minutes, letting it soak up all the sulfites, removing them, and then you got a bottle of wine that you can just like drink that night with whoever, because I, I drink a whole bottle of wine on my own. That's a disaster. But yeah, and you could do that for like a party or something like that. So you're not like walking around, you know, carrying one of these things. I don't know. I also thought about using it for my vermouth. So a lot of people, at least I didn't realize until I tried to freeze it, <laughs> that vermouth is wine. And so you put vermouth, you put like dry vermouth in a martini or you put sweet vermouth in like a Negroni. And those are actually wines. I threw them in the freezer one time and one froze. And I was like, I don't understand. I thought it was a liqueur. And they're like, no, it's actually wine. And so it's like, oh, okay. It probably has sulfites in it too, which explains why my favorite drink, which is a Negroni, still gives me kind of a low key headache. You know what I mean? And so there are sneaky sulfites and a lot of things that this could really help with. So I thought about that. I actually just ran out of sweet vermouth because, you know, having my little mezcal Negronis here and there on the weekends. And I thought about the next bottle that I'd buy sweet vermouth. I might just decant it or like, you know, pour, just pour it into something. Decant is a very pretentious word. And stick a couple of these bad boys in there, soak up all the sulfites, and then pour it back in the bottle. And then, you know, because you go through a bottle of sweet vermouth in like a matter of like six months sometimes. You know, it just sits in your fridge and you use like an ounce of it at a time. Like it's going to take a really long time to go through it. So you're not going to want to use the wand every single time you make yourself a cocktail. And like, you know, these things are expensive. And so you don't want to just like use one up unnecessarily on like an entire drink when you're only using this much wine kind of thing. So the drawback is that this actually only works for one glass of like six ounce glass of wine. And so you're going to probably burn through these bad boys. This box of eight wine filters was like 25 bucks. <laughs> so wait, really? So this is not particularly the most cost effective thing in the world. This does come out, this was $24.99 for eight of them. So you're talking like three bucks a piece. That's kind of crazy. Um, not gonna lie, if they could lower the price, that would be really cool. But if you do like to keep a bottle of sweet vermouth around or something like that, this could be a very cost effective way to kind of purify an entire bottle of vermouth. Or if you are just kind of having a glass of wine here and there and you want to kind of enjoy it without any of the consequences, this definitely does work. I noticed it while I was drinking the wine. Like, as usually I notice the congestion and I notice the kind of like funny tension in my eyes. Even when I first start drinking, it just kind of has this funky kind of like effect on me almost immediately. And as I was drinking the wine, I was going, I'm clear. Like, I feel clear. My thinking is clear. My head feels clear. I don't have a headache. It was nice because I could get the, the sort of like effects, the calming effects of the alcohol and just kind of starting to feel tipsy without feeling that weird kind of like, uh-oh, I'm going to be hungover. Like, before I even go to bed, you know? There's like that nasty feeling when I would drink wine and if you have those sensitivities to the sulfites and the histamines, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, you get this really weird kind of like crappy feeling even before you're even done drinking the wine. And so when I put this in there and I just kind of like watched it all soak up and then you toss this bad boy out, like, I was just so pleasantly surprised. It wasn't even that good of a glass of wine that I had, I'll be honest. My fiance bought it and I didn't really like it. But I like enjoyed it so much more because I never realized like how much a glass of wine was actually kind of hurting while I drank it. And so, um, yeah, I definitely think like if you are a habitual wine drinker and this seems worth it to you for the price so that you don't have the consequences, it definitely works. Is it the most cost effective thing in the world? Absolutely not. In fact, if you guys have any like recommendations for other things that are more cost effective, <laughs> then uh, leave those down in the comments below. I think that these kinds of things are going to probably get lower in price as more come out on the market. You know what I mean? Like I hope that this doesn't stay at its weird like premium price forever. But as far as like a rating out of 10 on how this actually functions according to its promises, 10 out of 10, 100% it absolutely works. So I will leave a link below if you want to check them out for it yourself. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. I hope that you guys had a great weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.